Yo, welcome back everyone to race 10 of the Truck of Tomorrow series. I am pumped, absolutely pumped for this race. Now, Texas is one of my uh, upcoming favorite tracks, I should say. Here for the SpeedyCash.com 400, the 167 lapper. We are solidly in the top 10 truck. Now, for anyone that doesn't know what the Truck of Tomorrow series are, uh, this is my custom series that I do, usually every Friday night, but chat, I went to go see Rise of Skywalker last night, I'm being honest, and I got home super duper late. So yeah, that's why I'm, uh, that's why I'm doing this this morning. So, welcome everyone, Griffins, David, oh man, look at you, up to, uh, using your, uh, channel points. Man, I love it when people do that. So, without further ado, we have to do some qualifying. That is first and foremost, so welcome everyone. David Griffins, welcome everyone to the stream. Hopefully everyone uh, can enjoy the uh, the race I'm putting out. I'm still planning on doing uh, the Cup Championship uh, later on tonight, so that's still going on. I just wanted to uh, to get this done because I was slacking last night. Like I said, I went to go see the movie and uh, I got home super late. But here we go. So essentially, Texas. Um, you don't have to break uh, break it all. You just have to let off the throttle. How have I been? I've been do doing really good, David. Thanks for uh, thanks for asking. Oh, by the way, I don't know if he's actually in chat, but uh, I like to thank uh, Rome fifty one eighteen uh, for the uh, follow and the subscription for the Twitch Prime. So thank thank you so much, my guy. It is much appreciated. Welcome to the Groovy Crew and the Sub Club. All right, we're gonna All right so a 30.5, definitely not the best. It's up enough for P12. So, but for anyone that doesn't know how the Truck of Tomorrow series wor uh, works, you get a point for winning pole, which that point looks like is going to Ross. Ross Chastain is going to get the extra bonus point. You love Texas? Same. It's slowly growing on me, honestly. Look at all those up here. We have Tyler Dipple up here. We have Austin Wayne Self. We're going to have a couple of good names up here. Random cough. Love it. So, looks like we got uh, moved up to a P11. Hopefully that wasn't Ross that got demoted. So, yeah, chat without further ado. Well, let's just get it. Okay, it wasn't Ross. So, let's see who got dinged. Jennifer Jo Cobb really showed how cool it really was. The infield is like super cool, yeah. Don't uh, don't get me wrong, like uh, the infield is like super duper cool. Um, the only thing about um, because Texas as a facility is awesome. Texas as a race, I feel like could use a little improvement. But oh well. But we are green. Let's get going Tyler Dipple we have 167 laps we can only change uh, four tire uh, stop or we only have three sets of tires down on pit road so we can only do so much oh man chat we are we are zooming definitely had a let out the throttle there Sheldon Creed's going to the back he's in the sucker hole clean first lap let's go up to p5 Brett Moffitt right in front of us looks like we have three people that are already locked into the playoffs Stuart Friesen's already going in but he wants another win he is zooming to the front Brett Moffitt is already locked in with his win Matt Crafton is looking for his first win of the season chat we have had eight different races with uh, well, sorry, we have done nine different races with eight different winners. It is weird how this is just a custom series, but it has created a lot of diversity. So up here into up here into P3, we're moving forward. Yes. Well, the thing is, the lore for this series is that I actually am on GMS. And uh, Brett Mavitt's my uh, teammate. So yeah, that's why. 
But yeah. A Legion Twinsies. That one down low now. Oh, Bremont got a huge run. Give him plenty of space, but oh man, there is no stopping him. That was that was a run and a half right there. But yeah, that whoa, we had a break right there. Um, so yeah, the uh, the driver's currently locked into the playoffs. So he's actually right down below. If you uh, if you want to check out the point standings, uh, right there in my Twitch box. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be in the yeah, description. Um, but Brett Moffitt, Stuart Friesen, myself, Johnny Sauter, Stay on the bottom. Um, and uh, not Shelton Creed. It's um, Myatt Snyder that is all locked into the playoffs Stay currently. There. Yeah, Ty Majeski has really right, proven himself clear. ever since uh, the whole Roush days. He is really going places. Essentially, he just had to take a break but, and show that he does have talent, and which he does. I never, I never doubted that he didn't have talent. Just that whole Roush number sixty was cursed. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for him. Full time, essentially taking over for Ross. Matt Crafton gets past us very, very cleanly, but we get knocked off the track a little bit. Definitely don't want to be on the outside in turns three and four because now Tyler Dipple of all people is right here. Yeah, you just don't want to be on the outside at all in Texas. But you know what? That's fine. We're moving forward. Oh, yeah, exactly. He's won a late model racer, too, so definitely uh, has uh, the Kyle Busch credential, you know? So that's all that matters. Alright, so chat, looks like the uh, top 10 is actually starting to get really spread on out. Here we are in the top 5, 8 laps in. I consider this an absolute win so far. Stuart Friesen is just pulling away, though. As soon as he got the taste of uh, the lead, he is he is just gone. Harrison Burton's getting looking pre pretty racy. Looks like I just can't get that launch off the corner that the AI can. Like I, like I can't accelerate as uh, well as they do. I get bogged down. Okay, well there's Harrison, looking to make a move. I'm honestly just going to give it to him because I don't want to be on the outside in turns three and four. That was a tactical decision right there. But yeah, we have 167 laps, chat. We have a long race. This, Texas is, uh, well, this this uh, race of uh, the trucks is actually one of the longer on the schedule, both laps and time. Ooh, first caution of the night. So, of course, like I said, chat, we have three sets of uh, tires on pit road, so we have to use them sparingly. We can't just throw on tires willy-nilly. We have to use strategy. So, um, who is pitting? No one important. Okay. One second. Alright, so only the three in the back are pitting, so no, that's fine, but let's rack him up and do it again. Tyler Dipple is having a good race, it looks like. That's good, that's good, because he is on the cut line for the playoffs, because like I said, uh, the Truck of Tomorrow series follows the, uh, the, oh man, go to the outside. It sounds we're just going to swap places with uh, myself and Tyler. But essentially, the Truck of Tomorrow is essentially what if the Cup Series rules and all that applied to the trucks. So we cut the top 16 for playoffs, and Tyler Dipple's right there. He needs a good race or two in order to solidify his position. Just drag racing Ross in order to get to the inside of turn one and it, we work. It works. 
Grimmop decides to go to the top. I don't ever recommend doing that, but we gotta give him room. He gets a run, but I don't think we could ever do that. You don't ever want to run the top in uh, one and two at Texas. You will lose so much time, but Stuart Friesen maintains the lead. So in this top five, all but one have wins. Matt Crafton's the only guy still winless, which is the story of Matt Crafton, I guess. Inside of Brent Moffat, but won't be able to do anything because of that runoff turn two. But yeah, we are uh, closing on Christmas time. Chad, everyone in here, for if you're uh, new around here or not, uh, what's everyone's plans for the holiday? What are you guys doing? Yo, David, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Thank you. I feel like I'm getting so bogged down. I'm getting off the corners, because the top three are like pulling away. Thirty-one O was the last time by. There we go. Okay, I think I figured it out. Ross looks like he's honestly holding up a lot of people. Yeah, he is like literally like the uh, cork in the bottle right here. What does next week's schedule will look like? Um, I haven't finalized it, but I want to say it's going to be... Um, the Cup Fantasy 6. Cup Fantasy 6 on Sunday. Career mode on uh, Monday and Tuesday. Maybe a race on Christmas. If anything, it'll be a career mode race. And then Thursday will be Truck Championship mode. Friday will be Truck of Tomorrow and Xfinity Championship mode. So it will be a double header. And then Saturday will be Cup Championship mode. Yeah, we definitely... Next stop, we need to uh, make some adjustments. Harrison Burton to the lead. He wants to get his second win of the season. Yeah, most likely no Christmas, um, but it'll most likely be a uh, career mode race. So it's like one of those open days. If, if we have time, we have time. All right. 22 laps in. Definitely need to make adjustments to this truck. It's, pu it's pushing up. Don't you mean Nice for the uh, Nice Motorsports? Yeah. This truck is pushing up the track. Sixty degrees. Don't want that. Getting stuck on the outside as well. Yo, David. Oh my God. Getting tier one subs again. Captain seventy five. Got a car low now. I was looking. I was looking at the uh, subs. Captain seventy five. Er. Welcome to the sub club. Well, that was my own fault. Oh, just in time for uh, Tyler Dipple to blow an engine. Car outside. Hold your line. All right, clear outside. R.I.P. All right, so, you know what? We're fine. <laughs> no, 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 you're fine. I, I just picked the wrong time to look down. That is literally 
my worst problem is when I look down and, uh, <laughs> and I'm in the corner to read chat. You guys know this by now. I am terrible at reading chat. I'm terrible at multitasking. But look at this. Joe Nemechek up here. Just outside the top ten. Alright, but you know what? That's fine. Let's move forward. So Tyler Dipple. Man, he was having a good race. So I guess all things... I guess it wasn't meant to be. But no, don't worry about it, David. That's it was my own damn fault. But a grand total of 13 gifted subs. Seriously, th dude, thank you. Well, he, Tyler Dipple's ghosting in uh in pit lane, so I don't think he's out. You finally made an impact on the race? I mean, you always have an impact on the race, my guy. What are you talking about? Todd, go on looking low. Yep, he's there. He's there. Got to give him room. There we go. Dang, that 18 is fast. Yes, right? It's him, Stuart Friesen, and uh, Matt Crafton that are all up there and actually, like, being, like, god mode. Joe Nemechek is going to pass us. What a world we live in. Still there. There we go. Man, I have seen everything. Joe Nemechek legitimately just passed us. I think I need more uh, tire pressure. Is essentially what I'm saying. I need more left left side in order to counteract uh, counteract the basically uh, 50 pounds of pressure in the right. Get passed by a guy with no sponsor. Hey, Brett Moffat didn't have a sponsor at Chicagoland, so that's fine. I'm okay with people with no sponsors. So essentially, we're just back down to our uh, starting spot. Yeah, welcome to the sub club, Captain. So who's behind us? That's Dylan Lupton. Yeah, the field's really starting to get spread out right now. Tis the season, right? Tis the season to be giving. La 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 la. All right, so yeah, it looks like we're just essentially playing follow the leader right now. We have 20 laps into our first stop. Will it be a green flag stop though? That's gonna be the question. Yeah, that 18 is fast. Harrison Burton is... If he doesn't win this race, if him or Stuart Friesen does not win this race, because I can see Stuart Friesen's, like, right behind him, because that third dot that is right behind um, the 18 is Matt Crafton. So Stuart Friesen is right behind him. If either of those two don't win, it's going to be an absolute tragedy. But Todd Gillen's moving his way through the field. 
trying to get P9 from his uh, teammate Christian Eckes. Which, real talk, I cannot wait until uh, to see what Christian Eckes and Raphael Lassar can do in uh, KBM this year. I want to see if they got the uh, the spunk. Try to arc it. Going into the corner. It's kind of working. But I can just feel my uh, the tires slipping. As in, like, I feel like they are literally sliding. So, it's like, we're, it's wearing out my, uh, my right front, so... I'm a little too tight, is, is uh, what I'm getting from that. Because when your right front uh, wears more than your uh, right rear, you're too tight. So I actually... You don't hear me say this too often, Chad. I need to loosen up. A Joey Legato bobblehead? Nice! Any particular uh, addition, or was it, uh, or is it just a standard Joey Logano? Yeah, I need to loosen up. Loosen up, and I want to say give more uh, uh, tire pressures on the left side. But Harrison Burns starting to lap some trucks now. So that's definitely something to keep uh, on the lookout for. Oh, okay, AAA fire suits, nice. Those look cool. Honestly, that entire um, scheme looks so cool whenever they go to... Uh, Auto Club or uh, Texas. I do believe he raced uh, that scheme in Texas. Oh wow! What's your uh, what's your favorite or most uh, collectible one then? <coughs> Stewart frees him to the lead. I can see how that would have happened. Uh, Harrison Burton probably got uh, held up in lap traffic and allowed Stewie to uh, get right by him. But yeah, Chad, we are half a lap behind Stuart Friesen in the uh, in the Motley crew up there. We definitely need some uh, adjustments in order to make this truck better. Oh, that's awesome. Are you ever going to, though? Twelve more laps until pit stops. So essentially, the goal here, chat, is we're going to... Uh, Dylan Muffin's looking racy. We're, we want to go as long as possible because I ha I have a gut feeling that there's going to be a caution here soon. I have just a feeling. You used to say you would? Ah, I see. So which one uh, was the hardest one to get? Would it also be that one or? No, Harrison Burton back to the lead. He's trying to get those uh, bonus points for most laps led. Oh, wait, no, that's Anthony Alfredo. Anthony Alfredo looking, uh, looking racy. He definitely needs a couple good races in order to uh, make his way to the playoffs. Well, that's awesome, my guy. Now for you looking to the inside. Give him some room. There we go. Just sails right on by me. I was also I also gave the position away, so 
That's fine. Nine more laps. But yeah, you see how my uh, my right front is uh, wearing a lot faster than my right rear. That means I'm too tight. Oh man, nice! Watching the Richmond race, uh, the uh, fall one. Or the one where uh, Martin Truex Jr. spun out and still won. Alright. So our lap time is getting better, but I feel like we're just kind of getting stuck. The fall one? Okay. I've been noticing that NASCAR has been putting up a lot more of the uh, of the old uh, style of races, like um, North Wilkesboro. I uh, got uh, got uploaded to YouTube the other day. There was uh, Kyle Busch's first win. There was um, Jimmy Johnson's first win. Yellow down, Packer down. Almost right on cue. That's why we don't pit early. All right, so. Yeah, let's make some adjustments. We definitely need more tire pressure. Let's, let's do a huge swing at it. Well, someone popped a tire, that's why. Who was it? I can't really see. Let's get that to 27. Let's bring this down to 50. That's... Oh, Travis Quaffle. Okay, that doesn't matter. Oh, wait, no, it was Ben Rhodes. <coughs> ben Rhodes is out. We're going green. Almost ready. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, I lied. Don't mind me, chat. I don't know what I'm talking about. Give Christian Eckes a little help. There we go. Let's get back to the inside. Oh, we got a good run. We're gonna Careful, make things ahead. three wide here. Stay low. All right, you're clear. Careful, still there. Yeah, there we go, chat. Look at us go. It shows you that on the short run, this truck feels so good. Matt cracked into the lead. But it looks like not, not for long because Stuart Friesen's there. Looking to the inside. He is on the inside. And Stewie back to the point. P6 for us. We just halved our um, position since the restart. The Allegiant trucks side by side. I'm going to give him plenty of room since he's my teammate. Alright. Clear, clear. Where did Austin Hill come from? He's up here. Push up the track. Still there. Johnny Sauter, who's second in uh, in the points right now, looking to have another good race. Car outside. Yellow's out. Back oh, down. that was a quick yellow. For Sheldon Creed, Sheldon Creed is not having a good race at all. Look at that. Jordan Anderson's not having a good race. 
Ben Rhodes, well, I mean, he was a cause for the caution, so it makes sense. But yeah, there's a lot of good drivers that are not having good days. What's up, NASCAR? How are you doing today, my guy? Welcome to the stream. Going green. Be ready. Went to go see Rise of Skywalker uh, last night. So, essentially, I got back so late, and this is the race I would have done uh, last night. Get to the inside of Harrison Burton, make it three. Still there. Austin Hill's leaving a hole open, so we're going to be looking potentially for the lead. Enjoy. Oh, it, nope. Now with now like that. Yeah, I was just pushing up the track right there. Oh, did you? Yeah, I was gonna be looking through uh, that later on tonight. Ah, we're stuck on the outside. So, you still think the uh, hazelnut spread's your favorite? Four, almost 100 to go. Man, this race is flying by. Definitely feels better when you can nail your line. Ah, uh, push him, pushing up the track there. That allows Matt Crafton to basically get there. PPG paint is the best scheme. Don't at me. <laughs> it definitely does look good, I will say that. Oh, terrible set of corners. Oh, no. That's going to be P4. I entered way, too, way too low. Allowed Matt Craft to just scoot on by. Todd Gilland up here looking pretty good. So yeah, we're still doing the uh, cup championship mode later on tonight. I just wanted to get this race uh, done. Harrison Burton back to uh, being dominant. He is pulling away. It looks like for us that we have the short run speed, we just don't have the long run speed. Mm. That's usually the other way around. How we don't have short run speed, but we have long run speed. I don't know, it could just be Texas. Lap 65, fast approaching 100 to go. We still have two more sets of tires left on pit road, so we have a lot of strategy that we can deal with. But generally, the rule of thumb is that we're uh, we're all pitting at about 50 lap increments. But yeah, that 18 is fast. Look at him go. He's trying to 
pull away and get his second win of the season. He's trying to time me for most wins. So far, I mean, it's looking to be his day. But yeah, we're starting to nail our corners, and that's really helping us. Johnny saw it right behind us being under fire from Todd Gilliland. Maybe I need more tape? Just trying to think about all the things I need because I feel like I'm plowing coming off the corner. Got one down low now. Todd going to the inside. Oh, Michael McDowell's A and W car. I actually had to look on that again. I do remember that from the top of my memory. I'll have to say one of my favorite schemes, uh, though it has to be uh, William Byron's white we'll make contact a little bit with Johnny is um, William Byron's white um, Exalta scheme as well as um... Oh, I see I see an engine failure up there Who is it? Is it Harrison Burton? Oh my god. Championship implications. Harrison Burton has blown an engine. Take a base of action. Oh, poor Harrison. He was leading the race. Oh my god. Race implications. Harrison Burden is out of this race. So much for him trying to get his second win of the season. Now it looks like it's Stuart, uh, Stuart Friesen's race. Stuart Friesen's race to lose. Oh my god, that is just... That's actually tragic. And like, yeah, like I said... I called that. It looks like it looks like he was gonna win the race unless something absolutely tragic happens. And well, it happens. Got one inside. So this is now Stuart Friesen's race to lose. Careful, still there. Because Brett Moff is his nearest competitor, but Matt Crafton is also back there looming as well. So it's still anyone's race. Brett Moffitt and uh, and Stewart have both won and locked themselves into the uh, playoffs. But Matt Crafton hasn't. He is looking good enough to be in on points. So we'll see what he can do. Ben Rhodes, where did he come from? Voice crack. That's how surprised I am. Where did he come from? Seriously, and look at him go. Already to the inside. Had to give him room going into one and two. Stay high, stay high. Maybe Ben Rhodes has something to say um, about all this. Hey, don't forget about me. I'm still here. All right, Ben, let's see what you got. Show me your moves. Yeah, look at him go. He's going for fourth place right now. And he's going to get it. All right, so I guess Ben Rose has something to say about all this. Currently, he's winless. He definitely uh, would like a win because he has been very inconsistent throughout this season. He has been up and down. Like, he's been, like... 
every time he's gotten a top five, he has finished in the 20s the next race. He's still currently in the top 16 in points in order to point his way into the playoffs, but he wants that win for insurance. Speaking of insurance, Myatt Snyder is not even in this race. Myatt Snyder DNQ'd, I guess. So it's a good thing he has the win to uh, secure his spot in the playoffs. Yeah, that win at Richmond was clutch for him. Oh, that was a uh, terrible turn two. Just plowing. Oh, what? I was got loose off the corner. Yo, Mike Carter, one, uh, 1208. Welcome to the stream, man. How are you doing today? Who's ready for Christmas? I re I'm raising my hand right now. I know you guys can't see me, but I'm raising it. Johnny to the inside. Oh, he made a little bit of contact with us. Sh shoots us up the track. Kind of get held up by uh, Austin Hill a little bit. Sorry about that guy. A break from work and thought I'd watch a real sport. There we go. That's me right there. Professional sports. AF. Well, thank you so much for stopping on out and picking me as the streamer of choice. Yeah, we are garbage on the long run. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I thought we were a lot better. It's like the right front just uh, keeps wearing a little bit more than uh, the rear. I wonder if it's just... I need to... Maybe I need to get looser? Because I know that just means I'm tight. Because whenever your right front wears more than your right rear, that means you're tight. But I really... I took a... I, what I thought was a good swing at it. The other one has viewers who's actually playing NASCAR rather than the other guy who hasn't updated in playing Fortnite. Oh, yeah. I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> well, awesome, man. I'm glad to... I'm glad to be, like, truly the only one on. I love Kevin Harvick's car. Yep, that's me. Dylan Lupton. Ben Rhodes is flying. Ben Rhodes passed Todd Gill and is setting his sights on a Matt Crafton. You need to set up your wheel for this game? I honestly, I wish a couple times that I had a wheel. But honestly, I'm very much okay with my controller. I think I... Honestly, next next stop, I'm going to make it looser. I'm going to make another good swing at it. Not fun? Oh. Oh. Hurt me with those words. Here comes, here comes the pasta boy. Anthony Alfredo's looking racy. Is old and garbage. Well, the thing is, I play so much NASCAR that my old, my old controller, the one that I got with my uh, PlayStation, literally wore out. The uh, left analog stick would not work anymore. Oh, no. Okay. So, literally the same thing. The thing is, it wasn't even that old. It was just garbage. So, like, while yours is old and garbage, mine was just garbage. But look at Joe Nemechek back there, happily sitting there in P3. 
Just having a solid day. And I know Front Row Joe is up there in contention to get into the top 16 in points, so... Hey, a solid day like this, just keep... Keep adding it on. Got a long time ago. I got the days of play edition. Ooh, that's awesome. Uh, yes, this is 100% distance. The thing about me, uh, Mike, is uh, that's my shtick. Hello. Hello, shooting up the track. Um, that's my shtick, is that I only do 100% races. That's what I do. It's who I be. What is with their fascination with running the top side? 100% distance is the only distance. Ah, see, a man of culture. I like it. I like it. It's the true racer. <laughs> true race distance right there. Okay, yeah, we are. I feel, it still feels like we're plowing tight. Oh my god, you and your gifted tier subs. 14, welcome to the sub club. David, oh, you are just a monster. Oh, hi, grass. Grass check, yep, still there. We still have an infield. Just making sure. Oh, well, hey, welcome to the Groovy Crew, then. Thanks for the follow, Mike Carter. Yeah, Merry Christmas, my guy. Glad to have you here. Hopefully your day at work is going well. Oh, Pasta Boy is looking racy now. Look at him. It just swept around the inside of Austin Hill. Getting to the uh, bottom of Haley. Yeah, she is just not very good. She had one good race at Chicagoland in uh, this, this season, and that was about it. Because stretching out, what do you have to really do? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, my guy. Well, hopefully... I, d I don't want to say that my racing can make it better. Well, there's no good way to phrase that. David, there's no good way to phrase that. What else am I going to say? We're pa I guess we're passing Haley Deacon now, I guess, yeah. We are 10 laps away from pitting, but I feel like there's going to be a caution right around the corner. That green flag stops won't matter. Yeah, dude, ra yeah, racing is always better. Yeah, you're right. But I don't want to be that guy who's just like, my racing will help you have a better day, you know? Don't worry about NASCAR. Yeah, we're, we're all just actually, like, tweens right now. Austin Hill, I feel so bad for him. He cannot get by me. I, he's faster than me. <laughs> but uh, I'm faster than him where it matters. Wow, 11 in a full-time job? Wow. Pretty sure there's a law against that. Pretty sure that's grounds for uh, suing right there. Man, I am just pushing up the track in uh, turns, turn two and yeah. If I can talk, that'd be great. Two and four. 
allows Anthony Alfredo to get to the inside. Have to give him room. It's not going to be optimal because you don't want to be on the uh, outside at all in turns one and two. But, okay. Got three decades on this earth. Yeah, I'm fast approaching that myself. I'm 25. <coughs> Pardon me. Definitely need to make some adjustments again. Need to loosen it up more. It just feels like I'm plowing. Josh Ryum all the way up the track. I thought he was going to hold up Anthony Alfredo. Still in my prime? Yeah, I guess. Something like that. Careful, still there. I already have the joints of a 50-year-old, but yeah. Every day, I wake up, and my knees hurt. <laughs> Get to the inside. My tire is indicator! Oh, well, I guess we have five more laps until we have to pit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Get past Kyle Benjamin. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Here's Raphael Lassard. Yeah, exactly. So, it's I know it's an everyday occurrence, but I'm I'm milking it. Yeah, all this lap traffic, man. Up next is Jordan Anderson. I was that Corbin Forrester in front of Johnny Sauter, who's literally holding him up. Well, Chad, looks like we are going to have a green flag stop. All right, so let's see how bad my picker is going to be. I'm expecting a 16-second stop. Still there. there goes Jordan Anderson. Clear high, clear high. Yeah, good drafts, good eats. Oh, that's Mason Massey, okay. Uh... I want to say in two more laps, we'll be pitting. Mason Massey in 24, but yeah, Sewer Freeze is just going on an absolute tear. There is no stopping him. Like I said, ever since uh, Harrison Burton's uh, unfortunate engine expiration, he has, this is his race to lose. All right, we have pit stops happening. Yes, I know about the tires. Shut up. Next time by. Next time by. Okay, it looks like we're pitting in the same lap as Stuart Friesen. 101 Dalmatians. Yep. Wasn't there a uh, sequel literally just called, like, 102 Dalmatians? Whoa! Man, I don't know how... Uh, Austin Hill just charged the uh, pit road right there. Here I am, I'm trying to get slowed on down, and he's just like, nah. Okay, so we're going to loosen up a little bit more. I don't want to go too hard. And just a adjustment right there. Oh no! Disaster! Getting held up on pit road. Ah, Grandfinger, what are you doing? Oh, that's gonna kill us. All right. Oh, we. Okay, so we. Gain a spot on Austin Hill. All right, dig, dig, dig. We lose a spot to Joe Nemechek. What black magic fuckery was he uh, doing in pit road? <laughs> to jump both of us over here. Well, no pink on the car? Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I guess it all, it's, it all, it's all right with the world. There we go. That was, uh, well, that was easy. 
P10, so Sheldon Creed's in the lead. I guess he can go a little bit longer. Oh yeah, you're right. Yep, pink's the fastest color. I should have. When we get to um, when we get to like uh, the later races, I I will put a a couple of pink stripes on here. Because the thing is, I modeled this car after uh, Johnny Sauter's uh, 21 scheme. Well, speaking of Johnny, here he is up in P9. Dylan Lupton. Oh, that's him right there in front. Okay, so here we go. I think we should be like P7 after all this. After everything's all said and done, we should have P7. Get to the inside of Johnny. Johnny Sorta. Ah, okay. Is he able to make a comeback on the top side with that momentum? And clear. Kind of clear to myself, but yeah. Honestly, that, like, that paint scheme, like, looks so good. So, like, I was really trying to model it, like, super hard. And we kind of swap between different styles, but I think I got mostly ha have it. Because that blue isn't really in this game, with that shade of blue at least, so I did the best I could. So P9. I feel like we will at least be P8 right now. Oh, okay, never mind. Yep, yeah, P8. Here we go. So I lost a spot to Anthony Alfredo in the in that pit exchange. So here we are. This is actually the longest green flag run that we've had. A good old pit stops distance. Yeah, like literally, so like, even with that, uh, with Grand Infinger getting in our way, it really didn't matter, because all the spots we lost on Pit Road, we just gained right back, which is all right, you know, I'm not going to be complaining about that, p solid. I said from the top of the show that, you know, we have a solid top 10 car. You're on that cough, cough drop and orange juice? Oh, please don't tell me it's at the same time. <laughs> because that is just awful if it's at the same time, my guy. Holding steady to Dylan Lupton. Getting sick? Oh, okay. I I am so sorry to hear that, David. Hopefully you get better. Get some sleep because literally there is something viral going around. For chat, anyone that knows, last week for me, I was down and out sick. I was sicker than a dog. And it was something viral. It was literally just wiping out my energy. Call trap last night. Oh my god, that's. Whew. That's rough, my guy. Get some sleep. Turn on, uh, turn on Kyle Busch's first race and just not off. All right, I pee my taste buds. Yeah, no, it's a toothpaste and grape juice challenge. All the mad lads that like, oh yeah, I want some apple juice or I want some uh, grape juice literally after I brush my teeth. It tastes better that way. Passing out until then? Yeah, gotta, gotta prepare yourself. It's your big night. 
big moment of the night. Yeah, you you two always have movie nights. That's awesome. Just in a little bit of time to Dylan. Top 10 is so spread out. Like, Stuart Friesen's on the backstretch. I feel like we're gonna get lapped. By the end of this run, we're gonna get lapped. Oh, hello, Johnny. When'd you get to the inside? Hey, hi up here. Until I met her. Aw, oh, that's so cute. That is just adorable. Now you critique them, and now, uh, and then angrily post about it on the internet. <laughs> oh, Jennifer Joe Cobb, why are you getting in the way? I'd say that's my lane. 22nd place. Yeah, chat, I feel like, I definitely feel like by the end of this run, we are going to be a lap down. Oh, that's fine, NASCAR. I mean, like, you can talk if you want. We'd love to have you. The more, the merrier. Welcome back, my guy. Oh, really loose. Like NASCAR, have you seen, uh, did you watch uh, Kyle Busch's first win video? I want to say it was 05, right? Was that race in 05? Chat? Natalie Decker down here in 21st. Uh, she just must be having a bad day. I know I know if she was having a good day, she would be winning this race right now. I want to say it was either 04 or 05. Because uh, I want to say Jimmy's first one was in 04, right? I'm glad that actually the lap trap is actually getting out of the way. They literally just been taking the uh, top side. Oh man, am I loose. Austin Hill is right behind us. Pushing up the racetrack. Oh, that's going to open the door for him. Yeah, I did loosen up. I did loosen up the truck. But... Uh, I think I loosened up too much. We have one more stop to make it right. One more stop to make it right. But we have, we are we have had a long green flag stint. Which is okay, it's been 60 laps and counting. Perfectly okay with that. I love green flag stints. And to be fair, lap times are better. They're in the low 31s instead of like the mid 31s. So, I think I'm just complaining about nothing. Oh, I mean, like, literally, like, Mike, um, one of my superpowers that uh, is never actually practical is that I am a very good indicator on when a caution is going to come out. Like, literally, there have been times on E3, E3 was the main game for that, where I was just like, 
man, I could really use a caution right now. And like within a lap, a caution came out. Or man, I would it would suck if I had a caution. Then it would immediately come out. I have a couple um, highlights and uh, all that on my uh, Twitch clips and all that where that that kind of stuff happens. Or sometimes whenever a caution comes out, I just don't pit for some reason because I forget to confirm the pit stop. That's been like my new, my new least favorite thing that I've been doing, because like that's usually during cautions where I is when I interact with chat, so I'm like looking down, and all that, and I just don't confirm the pit stop for some reason. Had far too many cautions. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the cautions were very predictable. Like they were almost like on a timer. Heat 3 was a very broken game. I can say that looking back on it now. I also want to say the uh, tire pressures aren't really helping me either. My tire pressure adjustments. I think I need to go back on them. I definitely have too much in my left sides. Oh, Heat 4 is like night and day comparison to uh, Heat 3. It's it's really good. It's really fun. I like it. I mean, I've always been a, uh, a fan of... Uh, the NASCAR games, no matter how bad. Like, I enjoyed Heat 3, just because, just because it's, uh, it's fun. I like it. It's for about three days. Well, what, did you, uh, did you get a second hand or something, or? Yeah, Haley Ding is not having a good race now, isn't she? track a little bit or yes thank you literally as I'm saying it too she, she just moves up the track there we go we want to change that uh, Tundra into a Ford after this year keep looking at heat three I want to see how different it would oh it, it really is different because uh, there was a uh, open lobby that I did for people that didn't have uh, Heat 4. So I went to play on Heat 3. And it was weird because on Heat 4, you had to actually like lift and break into some corners. With Heat 4, you could just full throttle it everywhere. And tire wear also, weirdly enough, made you tighter, not looser, which doesn't make any sense. I'd wait until you had the money. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, Heat 4, I definitely recommend. It's an all-around better game. Yeah. Okay, so what I need to do is definitely need to go back in my adjustments. I have, definitely have way too much uh, tire pressure in my uh, left side. It's actually hurting me now. I think I just need to bring the air uh, air pressure out everywhere. <laughs> I need just need to lower all of them. But Stuart Friesen is right behind me. I, I Chad, I knew I was gonna lose a lap at some point or another. Hopefully I get lucky though, because we do have four seconds to the next uh, truck that we can get a lucky yellow. What's my star right now? My rating? 
Is that what you mean? My, oh, my truck level. Uh, this is at 105 difficulty. I always play on the hardest difficulty. No matter what mode I race on, it's always the hardest. Because I like a challenge. I also like uh, making things as realistic and as challenging for me as possible. Because I don't, I don't want to just all the time. I want to earn it, you know? So this is on 105 difficulty. I'll, sh I'll show the settings after the race. I have everything set up so like narrow, so every everyone's a little bit faster. Texas is also a bit of a hard racetrack. It's very, uh, it's very flowing. If you mess up one set of corners, you mess up your entire lap. Oh wait, is that my center right there? Oh, I thought my center wasn't even in this race. Huh, never mind. Well, I guess good for him. But Seward Friesen's right behind us, chat. We're about to lose a lap. Good news is uh, we're gaining a little bit of Johnny. So that's a plus. First is right on your back bumper. Yep, I know. It's a uh, a bit of realism that uh, I have to live with. Yeah, like I said, Chad, Stuart Friesen, this was his race to lose. He is flying. But I'll fight for it, though. Got one inside. Bottom clear. That's probably going to allow him to pass me as I'm going to drift on up in one of these corners, and uh, he's going to be there. Kind of like that. Like, I was still coming off the corner, and he was... Oh, okay. Oh. Never mind. I guess I just out, out race him. Um, but I'm going to be coming off the corner, and he's just going to sneak under... Un Whoa! Or I make a mistake like that and just get lo really loose. I'm, I am Ryan Newman. Uh, Ryan Newmaning right now, if that's even a word. With a slight delayed echo. Unfortunately, the sound glitches a little bit. Like, after like after so long, the sound kind of starts glitching in the game. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to impact the result of a race, but Brett Moffitt's coming. I'm just going to let Sewer Freezen go. Because right now he's starting to search for uh, ways to get past me. Yeah, there we go. There you go, dude. Yeah, Brett Moffat's right there. I was holding this dude up. I don't want to impact the uh, result of the race. I'll be a gentleman here. Not only that, but by my escapades, I also uh, did. Uh, I also did lose a lot of time to uh, nine. Don't worry about it, my guy. Ten more laps until our next stop. Yeah, Chad, we are just ticking the laps on by. Well, chat, here's a question. Do I short pit right now? Because I 
with the amount of laps uh, left, I, I think we just take two. Should there be no caution by the time we uh, come on down or, and, have our, and have our tires... Uh, oh my god, why can't I talk right now? Why am I describing that? Send it. Just full send. I want to say two. I want. I want. I'm gonna give it a two tire stop. I think. I feel like my left sides will hold up long enough for 25 more laps. Sir is going through a lot of lap traffic right now. Gaining on uh, gaining time on Christian Eckes, but I'm losing time to the trucks in front. Welcome back, Mike. Well, Stuart Friesen's going through a lot of lap traffic right now. I don't know, that is a lot of uh, tire dag on my left front. Well, good good thing that the race is almost over. No, I, I say four tires is the best way. Because I'm looking at the tire dag on my uh, left, on my left front. Not only that, but if I don't change it, it's just gonna... It's gonna eventually pop, essentially, is what I'm saying. So I think I have to do a four-tire stop here. Red Moffat is chasing down Stuart Friesen, though. Oh, boy. Here comes Matt Crafton. You have to get out of the way for him. Get past Jordan Anderson. Get to the inside of Gustine as well. Okay, there we go. And then kind of drift on up for... Uh, Matt Crafton. Still there. Mr. Anderson, welcome back. We miss you. Yep, we'll be pitting here in the next couple laps. Four tires stop. Definitely bring down my tire pressures. Oh, Matt Crafton, are you out? He's really slowed on down. You're almost out of the gas. This time, this time. Oh no, I caught it. Tires are getting bald. Tires are getting bald. This time. We're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh, caution. What does this mean for me? Do I get, do I still get my... I, I'm, mm, do I pit? I think I just pit regardless. Wait, hang on, hold up. Let's see if it actually pits me. Hang on, because I can I can make this super fast if uh, this actually happens. Nope, we're good. We're good, I guess. 
All right, so. All right, well, that changed my camera angle for no reason. Ah, yeah, apparently. Right, you're coming to the green. Be ready here. Inside. All right. That was a really weird time caution. Hello, wall. I don't know what that was for. I guess I had to run out of town at some point. Hold your line. Stay high. All clear. So I wonder how this changes things. Stay low. Stay ben low. Rhodes, I see, is up there in eighth. Luckily, we uh, were able to get back on the lead lap there. All right, you're clear. <laughs> uh, this will be the only one for this morning. My next race, uh, which is going to be Cup Championship mode at Texas, is going to be later on tonight. I won't go pretty wide here. All right, Dylan Lupton is just right up the road. Careful, still there. Yep. Careful, still there. Look at us fly, oh, chat. Clear. It makes me think that they didn't, that uh, all these guys took only two. All right, Stuart. I see you're under uh, fire from Brett Moffat. Like I said, this is your race to lose. Still there. Oh, but Stuart's on the high side. But he's holding his own. All clear. Ten to go. Ten to go. Top 10 guys like <laughs> eight, seven, and six. Well, Dylan Lupton's right there, and then Johnny Sauter, who's uh, second in points, is right in front of him. Or two trucks in front of him, I should say. Get past Ross. Yeah, all those uh, trucks uh, that stopped one lap too early. That really screwed the race. That's why I'm always a proponent for uh, stopping later and never really sh uh, short pitting. I mean, I do ever, I do always consider it in my strategy, but like I'm always, like whenever, whenever I can stick it out, I would much rather have that because I don't know what's gonna happen. Ben Rhodes to the lead. Oh man, I knew Ben Rhodes was fast, but like, can he get his first win of the season? Can he lock himself in? Stewie, this was your race to lose. I'm trying to send it, but all these lap trucks, like Christian Eckes, Joe Nemechek up here. To be fair, we also came from the very rear in order to make it up here. Oh, Stewart back to the lead. Still there. All clear. Ben Rhodes, for some reason, went high. You, you don't go high, dude. <coughs> now Matt Kraft into the lead. Got a car low now. All clear. Oh, man, I wish I could be up there throwing my name into the ring, but it is insane what the lead is looking like. Coming to five to go next time by. Sorry, Chad, I'm focusing on the lead and not uh, the position that's right in front of me. Matt Crafton trying to pull away, trying to get his first win of the season. He's trying to do exactly what Matt Crafton couldn't do in real life and actually win. 
Five to go, but they go to the top. Ben Rhodes is trying to get second place again. He won't he won't get a run on his teammate, but he'll be side by side with Stuart Friesen. Now Austin Hill was trying to uh, prove to those guys that hey, I'm still here. Yo, what's up, Deep Freeze? Four to go. Matt Crafton is pulling away. If Matt Crafton wins, chat, we will have another new winner. Out of the eight regular season, uh, regular season races, because this season has a mix of double points race and regular season. Out of the eight, there has been seven different winners. Matt Crafton is trying to add to the list of different names. And he is pulling away. Two to go next time by. And I'm trying to get past Joe Nemechek. Like, I'm trying to get a good run on him, but, like, I gain going into the corner, but not getting off. And we're, like, running the same, uh... Same speed down the front stretch. Two to go this time by. Yep, Matt Crafton is winning. Going to three and four for the second to last time. There is no one even around him. Ben Rose is the closest. Oh, no, sorry. Stuart Friesen is the closest truck to him. But he can't make it up in one lap. He has to go full send in order to even do it. But he goes to the top side. And we're trying to get Joe Nemechek. But we can't even do that. White flag. One more time around. Matt Crafton, who has been the model of consistency this season. He has been always in the top five, but he's never won. Coming off of four, he is going to add his name to the list of new winners this season with the win here at Texas. Punching his ticket to the playoffs. We come home P9. <sighs> Matt Crafton. Three-time champion, Matt Crafton. <sighs> we come home P9. Okay, I'm okay with that. Honestly, it was a solid race. Solid race. Stuart Friesen, though, dominated. 119 laps led. Anthony Alfredo coming home with a solid P5. Joe Nemechek with a top 10. And then Harrison Burton, absolute disaster. Engine failure while leading the race. All right, let's check out these unofficial, unofficial, official race result. Yeah, Anthony Alfredo had a good race. Ben Rhodes almost had it done. Joe Nemechek, good race there in P10. Now, I want to see the... The caution really screwed over uh, Ross Chastain. I feel like he was one of the early stoppers in order to, uh, well, well, I guess stop. But literally, the uh, the caution threw a huge spanner into the works. <sighs> what a race. Matt Crafton getting his first win of the season. And it was really close to Stuart Friesen had that race. He That was his race to lose, and he lost it. <sighs> what a race. What's up, Cody? Don't worry, man. We'll be on later on. We'll have a full three... <coughs> oh, my God. What? Hello. A full 325 lapper at uh, the Cup Series level. So... I'll show you all the settings I was running with. 105 difficulty, of course, 100% race length, normal all around for my end. And same on this side, we had lowest draft settings, narrow, scale range, so everyone was pretty much running about the same speed. Uh, compressed and all that, all the fun stuff here. Make it as hard for me as possible. We come home P9, we had a good, solid race.
I like it. Nice top 10. Yes, I said from the top of the show, we had a top 10 truck and we showed it.